Hey guys, it's me, Kai Cools. So today I'm bringing you a current household of June. There is a lot to get through in this current household thus far. I have created some amazing screenshots of what is yet to come in this current household. And there is a lot more drama and uh, juiciness to come. So let me just uh, get started by saying this here is the Chester Manor in Windenburg. This is the manor that everybody knows about. People drive from other countries just to see this manor. It is gorgeous. It is luxurious. And it is a very wealthy household inside, let me just tell you. So this is where the Chesters have lived all their life. This is a family heirloom that has been passed down from Julius and Annie Chester to Owen, her, her son, well, their son. So Julius and Annie married 60 years ago and they had only one son named Owen Chester. He grew up in a very rich area as we as we can see on the screen. It is a very luxurious, modern, very, very wealthy household. Um, he grew up with hardly any friends in elementary school but as soon as he hit high school he had so many friends so as you guys can see this is Owen and Lillian they are married Lillian is your typical daddy's little girl you know never really had a job never really worked a day in her life um when Lillian met Owen she was like oh my goodness the money I'm gonna be rich this here is Julius Julius Chester this is Owen's father he was a very famous poetry writer, very famous. Moving on now to Annie Chester. This is Owen's mother. She worked alongside uh, her husband all her life and supported him with his poetry writing. This is Charles Chester. He is Owen and Lillian's son. This is Shari Chester. She is the daughter. So Owen and Lillian's daughter. She's such a free spirit and she's so creative. She's so creative. She's like her mum and she's very naturally talented at painting, collecting harvestables. And she is a total, total reflection of someone that is a free spirit. And she's not like her appearance at all. Owen is a very needy type um uh, posh, rich, um, really evil person. Um, you know, he will control people to get his own way and he's very, very materialistic. And Lillian is a very snobby kind of, you know, can be really bitchy at times. And she's really not like her parents at all. She's a real free spirit and she's just so kind and caring. And, um, unfortunately Charles takes after his parents like a T, like you wouldn't believe. So when Shari met Duke Rankin, um, he, uh, Owen really did not like this. Um, so Shari met Duke at school and they became boyfriend and girlfriend within three or four months of being friends. Uh, Owen wasn't aware that they were friends and boyfriend and girlfriend until this day, until this day. You know, he came home from work and literally how could everybody stand him? And, you know, he was such a bad person, but he's really not. He's got his own house. Um, his father passed away when he was five and he was in foster care right until he was like a teenager and couldn't fend for himself. Um, so he lives in his own house in Windenburg. And, um, you know, Shari loves going over and hanging out at his house because she feels like she can really be herself. And she's not like this preppy little princess daddy's little girl. And she was forced to wear little dresses and pink little bows in her hair. And, and, and she would rebel and just wear a black little ribbon in her hair because it wasn't something that she wanted. Owen is a very control freak. He's a control freak. He's very, very materialistic and he will not stand for anything less than what he is worth pretty much. So he's really, really just not a type of guy that you want to hang out with. And Shari uh, just dreams and dreams about those months that Duke and her spent together at the coffee shop when they first met each other in Windenburg. It was like this explosion of love all in one. So let me just kick it back to what happened. So Shari was at the coffee shop one afternoon and she was just studying on her iPad for her local exam in English A and she was just sitting there on the couch, you know, at the local Windenburg, local Windenburg coffee club and she was in there with her girls and, and she was on the iPad just studying with the girls and Duke was there. Duke was dancing and getting down in the coffee shop for whatever reason 
And Shari saw him. She was like, wow, this guy is not afraid to be who he truly is. So she went up to him and she was like, hey, Duke, um, I, I, I've seen you at school and you're in my English class. And he's like, yeah, I'm in your English class and, you know, English A. She's like, wow, so tell me, like, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I'm just dancing, you know, and just... Yeah, you know, just having a good time. I'm just waiting for my coffee. Do you do you want to, you know, catch up? And 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 she's normally Shari wouldn't pay attention to Duke because he's the he's the I don't know he's not the jock at high school. You know, he's 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 in the um the uh, chess club at school, and and he's just not her type. You know, that's not what Daddy's little girl wants. So, you know, she was like, that is so awesome. Thanks for catching up with me. Maybe I'll see you around at school. So they went on several dates afterwards. They started taking a like to each other. You know, they sat together in school. They went to his house. And, you know, soon after they became boyfriend and girlfriend. And, of course, it was all under wraps. And Duke felt like he was at, like, an outcast himself at her home because he knew where she lived. And it was that day, that day, that it all came to a head. They'd been going out for three or four months. Nobody knew about it. They'd been dating. They went on several, several dates. And they saw each other secretly. So that day happened. The confrontation had happened at this point. And, you know, he wasn't welcome at the house anymore. And Shari went out secretly, snuck out of her house to meet Duke. And, you know, it, it was all under wraps, you know. And Shari had promised Owen and, and Lillian that she would not see Duke again. But she was secretly going on dates when her parents were asleep. She was sneaking out of the house she was just going around there and hanging out for the whole night at some times and sneaking back at six in the morning before her parents got up and they went to the ruins. They were, you know, had a bonfire. They toasted marshmallows and they even went to his house and it was love. You know, they had promised each other to each other and they were just so in love. And by this time, they'd been dating for several months was this one particular night they were on a date and things were getting pretty serious at that point. And, um, you know, Shari's phone kept on ringing and ringing, so she answered it. It was her mom. Lillian was like, you better be home before your dad finishes his night shift at 11. He's at the he's at the office just celebrating with his co-workers. He's just got a new promotion. We're going out for dinner tomorrow night. You need to be home. You should have been home. Like, what are you doing? She was just going ape on the phone, literally ape on the phone to her daughter. She didn't want Owen to come home and then her daughter, his daughter not to be home sort of thing. So she was trying to cover it up for Shari and like, oh my God, you know. She thought that she was at um, school doing, uh, well, not at school, but she thought she was at her best friend's, Bindi's house, which is, uh, Bindi is uh, Shari's best friend. So Bindi is pretty good friends with the family anyway. Um, and uh, little did they know they were actually you know, having a bit of uh, mess around, woohoo time, Shari and Duke, and things were getting pretty serious at that point, you know, and she was just ringing um, Lillian to say, look, mum, I'm going to be home, just the traffic's really busy, and Royce, the chauffeur driver, is just having a bit of troubles with his car, and uh, we'll be home in about 10, 15 minutes, and she's like, you're grounded, you are grounded, and she got really pissed off in the end. She got really pissed off because this went on for several weeks and she couldn't see Duke at all. She decided to pack up her stuff and leave the house, the Chester mansion. She was leaving to be with Duke. So she picked up her stuff. She made sure her parents were asleep one night and she picked up her stuff and she left for Duke's house in Windenburg. This is Duke's house. It's nothing special, but it's home for Shari and Duke. She knocked on the door she was like, oh my goodness, I hope he's home. And she hadn't seen Duke for two weeks at this point because she was grounded. And there he was, her one true love, her soulmate. Okay, so welcome into the official gameplay. So a lot of time has happened off camera with Shari and Duke. And they are actually expecting a wee one. They are expecting a baby, a new boo. And they've been together for a very long time now. So we're talking possibly half a year has passed on. They're still teenagers. They still go to school. And Duke has just got himself a new job working as a coffee cleaner or in the barista career. Okay, you guys, so the time has come. Shari is having her baby. She's just gone into labor. Duke is coming up here. I think he's going to freak out, but she's having a baby and I don't know what she's going to have. Oh my goodness. 
he's really excited and and Shari's excited too so let's just have this baby it's a boy oh my goodness and we are going to name him Ryland Chester he's really nervous because you know he's he's scared that he might do something wrong and he's just really excited to be a father now and um he is a high school C student. He is a coffee stain remover. He works in two days. And, um, you know, that's just solely to give Ryland a life that he never really had. And, um, you know, he knows that he has to do it for Shari and Ryland. I think what I might do is actually change Ryland's last name to Rankin so that it's... Um, so that it's Duke's last name, but for the most part, we're just going to keep it as Chester. Um, oh my goodness, I'm really, really, really freaking really nervous because, you know, they've only got 149 smallions in the bank and um, for the most part, you know, having a baby is really expensive and they both know that, but with his new job, he's pretty sure that he can afford to have the baby and stuff, so they managed to afford a mat and a new school um not that the baby's of age to go to school but a new school bag when it's aged up some photographs and some calendars and a drawer table so that's what they've been able to afford and they do have 149 simoleons in the bag i do believe shari has some things in her inventory to sell that she brought from the chester manor which was actually um not hers but she took them she's got her ipad which if worst comes to worst we could sell but i still don't really want to go sell those things i mean we could try set up a family home here it's just that the 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 house is so close is that Okay, no, that's right. I was like, oh my goodness, that's her mum, Lillian. Uh, we could kind of set up like a patio area out here, open the house. That is what Duke's, um, that's what Duke's plans were to kind of open up the whole house and, you know, really, um, you know, start making this a family home. So, Shari's woken up, it's three in the morning almost, and she's just trying to calm Ryland down. She's going to cuddle him, and she's really nervous about this whole motherly thing, you know? And Duke's just over here taking selfies. You know what, buddy? You know what? You can actually do your homework. Uh, he actually is in desperate need for some fun, but... um. You know, we're not going to kind of make a scene about that. We're not going to go out or whatever. We're just going to be here for the baby and stuff um, and our girlfriend. So we're going to play some Sims forever after he's done his homework. And hopefully the baby will settle down because the baby is just not having it. Oh, oh, this is so cute. But like, I hope Ryland will settle down um, soon. Oh my goodness, she has no idea. She's always had maids uh, in their Chester manner, so she's never known how to cook or whatever. She's really never, never cooked in her life. So this whole aspect of mother life, you know, motherly life, motherly, motherly, mother life, motherhood, yeah, you get what I mean, is really just something new to her. She's just so not used to it. All right, so it looks like Duke is going to go play some Sims Forever. And, um, yeah, he's just going to get some fun. He's so worried about Ryland. He's like, oh, my goodness, maybe we have to take him to the doctor. And Shari's like, no, it's just he needed a change of diaper. Don't worry, babe. It's okay. It's okay. And she's just so happy. She's really happy, you know. She is the happiest that she's ever been. Promised. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> School for Duke and Shari actually start in a an hour. But I'm actually going to have Shari come up here and she's actually going to um, breastfeed Ryland and change his diaper. And then she's actually going to call in fake sick to school um, because she wants to spend the day with Ryland and take um, some time with him and, you know, just really start bonding with him her baby oh my goodness the risk is that her parents will find out because they don't know where duke lives the risk is right now that the school um will be phoning 
Lillian and Owen to say that, you know, things have kind of gone down with her grades. I mean, look at her grades. She's a high school C. She's never been a high school C. She's always been a high school A plus student. So she's essentially going to call in and say that she's, oh my goodness, if, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you don't sound sick. If this continues, there'll be consequences. So that is the thing that is on her mind. The school are becoming very suspicious of her because she's taken time off school and, and things. Obviously, a lot of time off school because she's been pregnant. She's been heavily, heavily sick with morning sickness in her early pregnancy. And they're actually really starting to get pretty dang suspicious of her. Um, she has called in sick. Uh, uh oh, better not try this again too soon. Someone may catch on. Um, well, we're actually going to try take a vacation day. And of course, Duke is actually due to go to school now. So he's going to go to high school. Um, okay, so Shari has actually been granted the day off school. So, um, the absentee lady at the school is like, yep, that's fine. You know, you're obviously really sick. That's cool. And she's like, I would really appreciate if you guys, if you ever needed to kind of get hold of me, can you please call this number? And that's Duke and her number, not her parents' number, because obviously they are the next of kin. So the next of kin for Shari is Duke. So that is a thing. <laughs> So it's really, really nerve wracking for her because she doesn't know what's going to happen. She doesn't know if her parents are going to just turn up on the doorstep because they find out where she lives. You know, her parents have no freaking idea where she lives. Um, really, really want to get, oh my goodness, he's so cute. I really, really want to get Shari a paint easel. Um, we obviously don't have the money, but when does Duke go to work? Um, okay, so Duke goes to work in 20 hours, which is a really long time away. He makes 30 bucks an hour. We really need, need to like go out and make some quick cash today. So Shari's going to just take a quick shower. She is essentially just getting ready to go out and, you know, go harvesting. You know, she's a really great harvester. She needs to kind of just, um, take the plunge and, um, you know, she's just going to leave Ryland for a little bit. She needs to just go either fishing. She might just go fishing down here. Oh, crap. Ryland is needing a diaper change. And we'll give him a quick feed before we go and a cuddle. And then we need to go out before Duke gets home. And <gasps> no, she has to ignore these messages. She has to. She has to. <sighs> you know, things are getting really tough and she she knows it. She freaking knows it. So she's going to come down here just for a really quick afternoon spot of some fishing. She has no skills in fishing at all. Um, she's just going to leave Ryland really quickly um, to go fishing. Lillian is in the neighborhood. Her mother, who is heavily pregos. And this is the house. Oh my goodness. You better walk on by. That was a close call, you guys. She is out on the hunt for her daughter. And this is getting real quick. This is getting real, real quick. You know what I mean? <gasps> Serious. This this could have gone so bad. Oh my goodness. That was a close call. Um, she, she's, no, she's so nervous because... Her mum is like knows detectives, she knows police officers, she knows it all and she knows that her parents are looking for her and the thing is they have no idea where Duke lives at all and you know it's a close call, it's a really close call so what she's going to do is she's going to try to find some fish but she's not having any luck at all uh, at this point. Okay you guys so Shari is back home now, that was a really close call. Um because, you know, her parents know everybody in the neighborhood. And although they have some inkling where Shari is, like in Winneburg somewhere, you know, it's, it's, it's not safe. You know, this is not safe. So they need to possibly move. They're going to have to move somewhere where they know that nobody can find them. Um, you know, they're still in Windenburg. They're still very, very 
close to the parents' house. You know, it, it's not ideal. So Shari's just going to come up and she is just going to say that she's really scared that she thought she saw her mum. And she had to hide down at the canal. So Shari is really, 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 really anxious about her parents possibly finding out where uh, she lives. So she's going to just tell him that you know, we're not safe here. My parents will find out where we live. You know, if we are in the same place as them, we're in Windenburg still, they will find us and they will take Ryland just to spite me. And he's like, babe, don't worry. I'm not going to let anything happen to us. I'm not going to let your parents affect us. They've affected us before in our relationship and tried to stop us from being together. They're not going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to protect you. And she's like, okay. Okay, I really do trust you. I really do. He's like, babe, if you really, really want to, we can move. And she's like, yeah, I'm asking you, can we please move and just get out of here? Maybe we can downsize the house. And he's like, but my dad gave me this house. And she's like, I know. But we have to think what's best for us and our baby, you know. And he's like, okay, all right. Well, we'll start looking at some houses and we'll start researching about some property and Willow Creek you know I've heard that's a great town and he's like yeah okay we'll we'll do it we'll do it you know we'll do it so Shari's just getting out her iPad now to look at some properties and some apartments and Duke's just going downstairs to um, watch some sports he's just so he's really tense in the back of his mind because you know he he's really nervous he knows deep down inside that Shari's parents have authority over a lot of people like detectives and things and the thought of potentially his girlfriend freaking out about this potentially you know it's just too much of a risk so Shari's coming downstairs to show him some properties she's like babe I've seen some amazing properties in Willow Creek. You know, they're only worth about 15 grand. We could sell this for 20 and we could move. You know, my parents will have no idea where we are then. You go look at some houses tomorrow and you you, you you've try to find us a house. And, and, and she's like, babe, why can't we just move? Let's just pack up our stuff and move. So they're going to do that. I think that they are going to move. Um, she's seen a particular house that she's really taken a like to and Duke really likes it too It's just this really really cute two-bedroom House in Willow Creek somewhere where they can really start a life together away from all of this behavior from her parents like her parents haven't contacted her or tried to you know contact her direct apart from her little brother, which is obviously understandable but you know the possible <gasps> the possibility is just too high too high this man is on to them i feel as though he's circling around this area because he knows and it's just too dangerous to stay in this area <sighs> my goodness and oh my goodness oh, this is so bad oh my goodness so Shari's dad's walking that way and it looks like Duke is going to run out because he thought that he saw someone when he was in the shower out the window that looked like her father and he's coming out to confirm it and um, he's like what the freaking heck is this guy doing he's like yeah that's him that's him he's like oh my god we need to move we need to move now so he's going to come in um, and he's going to, Shari hasn't seen her father, but he has and he's going to come in and he's going to have a meal. He's going to sit down and he's like, yeah, I just saw your father and we're going to have to move, you know. He's having a deep conversation with her saying, look, babe, I know that this is an appropriate time. We've just started talking about it. I saw Owen and she's like what are you serious where and he's like they're circling the house they, they're onto us they're circling the house they're onto us and she's like how can they how and he's like I don't know remember your dad is high up in the investment property market it's not hard to find out who lives where you know 
Okay, you guys, so good morning, and what a morning it has become. So Ryland is yet again crying out for a nappy change. Duke actually is going to be aging up very, very soon in the next day. And uh, he's feeling really, really happy. Um, he starts work in the next 37 minutes. He's just attending to Ryland, but he needs to have a thoughtful shower and to be like, you know, in the ideal mood to go to work. So he's just going to kind of, um, you know, have that shower. And <laughs> our girl Shari is over here just kind of gaming, but she really needs to um, start getting things in order to move. Um, she started last night. She was up really, really freaking late. Uh, just, you know, packing up some things to move, um, you know, they're going to be moving. Um, Duke still has to go to work, so Shari is forced to do it on her own. Uh, you know, she's really been packing up some things, but, um, you know, all she's done is really assembled the boxes. <laughs> um, she's done some in the, um, oh, that's good, Ryland's asleep. So she's done some downstairs, you know, she's packed up a few boxes and things, but she's really, really... Um, just needing to get onto it today so that's her job to pretty much move the house clean the house literally find um everything that she can in order to um to to move so duke is off to work feeling really inspired which is awesome so he'll bring in some cash for the move that is good and it looks like um he will get off work at about um what time does he get off work okay so he gets off work at 7 a.m okay so that's pretty good so it's only for a few hours and things so that's good um so can we um clean some things yeah it looks like everything's pretty much done she's just gonna brush her teeth um you know rylan's asleep so it's now time for her to actually start moving some things and um she doesn't want to do this. She she knows how important this is to Duke and she knows how important it is to live here. But it's still not practical to do. You know, what I'm trying to say is it's not practical to live a lifestyle where you are scared of a particular person coming to your house, showing up, whatever. Okay, so this is such a good, um, it's a good move, you know, it's a good uh, solid decision that these two have made. So she's just going to have a little nap and wait for Duke to finish work. He won't make all that much money, but, you know, it's something, it's something. All right, so we need to move and he needs to get his booty inside pretty dang quickly. All right, so he's just going to come and wake Shari up. He's like, babe, you've done a, such a great job. Let's move. And uh, he's like, I don't think we have enough to buy that house that you want, but we're going to try. Can they? Oh, okay. We need to go in the build section all right so they have seen a house that they're really particularly interested in and it's this modern starter 8400 they'd only be left with a certain amount of money like literally nothing but their safety and sanity is more important uh that lot was also made by mk scopes 9 so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just purchase this one while we're here, we are going to just kind of pop our furniture inside the house here. Okay, you guys, so this is actually the house. I have spent time off camera just making sure that it is ready for the family. So let's take a quick look inside. So all of the furniture is inside now. Um, we have got the lounge slash um, drawer table We've got this little kitchenette type thing. Now, this is possibly going to be in the way. So I'm going to test it out and have um, Mr. Duke come over here. And he is just going to make himself a cake because it is his birthday tomorrow. So we need to kind of prepare for that. And uh, Ryland is really happy. So that's good. So yeah, this is their new house. It is nothing special. They don't actually have um 
that, uh, you know, they, they don't even have the walls painted at all. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely a work in progress and they're going to be way more happier here. Uh, tents. Oh, wait. Oh, he's feeling good now. He's feeling good. So Shari has actually just gone off to high school. Duke is just finishing off making his cake and then he will be going to high school as well. So we're just going to pop this cake into the inventory. So hopefully things work out better for these two now that they have moved house. But I don't even know what is going to happen in the future. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this current household right here. Really excited to update you guys in the future about these two. Don't forget to comment down below your predictions. It would really help and mean the world to me. Don't forget to rate, comment and also subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.